Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to wear the brightest pink lip without looking and feeling like a clown. So, obviously I did this makeup look. I love how it turned out and I'm going to be giving you a few tips and tricks along the way, but I want to kind of lay out a nice base first before we get into the actual tutorial. So, I think that the key to this look is keeping your face makeup to a minimum, making everything super blended. You don't want a bright blush because the star of the show is clearly the lips and you want to let that shine without your face looking too overwhelming. And I also think another key tip is to keep your eyes soft and blended and in the same color family. So if I was wearing a red, I would go in with warm tones, but I'm wearing a pink, so I went in with cool pink tones on the eyes. I also wanted to keep this look very glowy and fresh and bronzy, so I used one of my favorite bronzers to achieve that look, and the highlight that I used is a super gorgeous gold highlight that looks like it is just a beautiful glow from within. So if you want to see how to achieve wearing the brightest pink lip of all time without looking and feeling like a clown and you actually want to know what this color is on my lips then keep watching. So I'm going to start by taking my Urban Decay Naked Heat eyeshadow palette and the first shade I'm going to take is Caution which is a very light neutral transition shade and I'm going to buff that all over my crease. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Juicy, which is a lighter, I'd say peachy pink. I'm going to blend that a little bit lower in the crease. I want to keep the eyes very toned down just because the lips are going to be so bright and we don't want to be too overwhelming. I'm going in with cool pink tones because I do want the look to be super cohesive. I'm going to use the darkest shade to do a smoky liner type thing just to add a little bit of definition and this will make my eyelashes look fuller. Now I'm going to take the shade Bang Bang, which is this really light pink shimmery shade, and I'm going to take that with my finger and kind of just blend it around my entire lid. It's okay if it ends up going over the liner, some of the crease work, because that'll just make everything look even more blended. And if I blend over the liner, it'll make the liner look a little bit less harsh. And that is basically the eyeshadow all done. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. And I'm going to apply this basically to my T-zone. And for my foundation, I'm going to go in with the glowiest foundation that I have, which is my LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. And I'm going to apply this with a brush. And recently, the foundation style that I've been liking is to take the smallest amount and use like literally this much for my entire face and just really sheer it out get a little bit of coverage from the foundation. My favorite foundation to do this technique with is actually my Fenty Pro Filter Matte Foundation, but I wanna keep this look super glowy, so I'm using this foundation. Because this is so glowy and I'd say a light to medium coverage. I might end up going in with a little bit more than I usually would while doing this technique. I'm actually okay with the amount that I originally took. I thought I would need maybe a little bit more, but I'm good with this. And for concealer, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Again, this is a really glowy concealer. And the color is a little bit off for me. It's not terrible it's just a little too golden so if it looks a little strange that's why but i'm gonna get it to work mm -hmm. 
And to set my under eyes, I'm going to be taking my Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows, and to fill them in, I'm going to be using my Scone Brow Wand Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Chocolate. And like always, I'm going to set them down with my ABH Clear Brow Gel. And to finish off the eyes, I'm going to dip back into the shade Juicy from the Naked Cherry Palette and buff that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a touch of privacy and blend that right on the outer edge of the lower lash line. Just to kind of connect it to the little bit of privacy that we have on the top. And then I'm going to take the shade Hot Spot and highlight my brow bone with that. To highlight the inner corner, I'm going to dip into the highlight I'm going to be using on my face in a little bit. And it is the Wet and Glow, Wet and Glow? It is the Wet and Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. And I'm going to take just a touch of that on my inner corners. And I'm going to be using my Benefit, their Real Mascara for my lashes. And like always, I'm not going to be putting any on my lower lashes because it'll just smudge everywhere. It's not worth the hassle. So the eyes are complete and now we're going to move on to the face. So I'm going to start by taking my Physicians Formula for Bronzer. This is the shade Sunkissed Bronzer, which I'm pretty sure is just the original shade. And I want to be very glowy and bronzy in this look so i'm gonna go in with this bronzer i'm gonna take it on my eco tools like dual fiber brush this is my favorite brush when i want bronzer to be kind of like everywhere for blush i'm going to go in with my elf saint lucia blush and bronzer duo and i'm going to be using the blush which is this one and i'm going to take that on my huge fluffy color pop brush so that I can just kind of slap this on everywhere. And then, like I said earlier, I'm going to be going in with my Wet and Glow, I almost said it again, my Wet and Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. And then the star of the show is the lips. So the lip duo cocktail that I've picked out is my NYX lip liner in the shade Bloom, which is a hot pink. And then my ColourPop lippy sticks in the shade Casanova, which is super bright. The lip liner is a tad bit darker than the lippy sticks, but I feel like that will create some really cool dimension on the lips. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips first. And now I'm going to take my lippy sticks. This one is a cream formula. I feel like with this on, I look even more tan and glowy now, which I really, really, really like. And as you can see, with the eyes being so light and just soft and shimmery, it really lets the lips stand out on their own. So that is it for this look. I really hope this video was helpful on how to wear honestly any really bright color without looking and feeling like a clown i feel like the key is to keep the eyes very soft but in the same tone as the lip that you're wearing so if you're wearing a pink on your lip go in with some light pinks on the eyes if you're wearing a red go in with some warm tones on your eyes but keep everything super super light if you're wearing a green go in with like a more olivey brown tone on the eyes like just keep everything very soft and blended out and i feel like 
if I had put on a liner, it would make this look so much harsher than it needed to be. And then I really would be looking and feeling like a clown. For the skin, I feel like the key is to keep everything very glowy and bronzy and cohesive. Try to pick a blush that matches the tone of the eye look and the lips then you won't be looking like a clown. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe and staying healthy. I hope you'll also like this video and subscribe before you go. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.